Trooper 41, Dark Star, contacts Bra 009 for 60 miles, Angels 25. Two radar contacts within restricted airspace, non responsive. Request immediate intercept, report contact visual. Dark Star, Reaper 41, copy, intercept, report visual. So today we're going to be going over the Lightning Targeting Pods air-to-air -air mode. Uh, you can use this to visually identify your target before you launch on it to confirm that it's a threat or that it is the type of target that you're looking for. Um, I've been in a couple campaign missions where that was needed. I needed to visually identify the target to determine whether or not it was a threat uh, and I needed a needed to do that visually. I couldn't just uh, go by my radar or my RWR signature. Um, sometimes, for example, uh, you get a MiG-29 RWR uh, warning. It doesn't necessarily mean that the radar signature is the aircraft that's pointing at you. Um, and MiG-29 radar is equipped in a lot of aircraft out there. It doesn't necessarily mean that when you see a 29 on this RWR, that that aircraft is a MiG-29, it might be something else. Um, so to get visual confirmation of the target, we can use our targeting pod to do that. So um, let's go into air-to-air -air mode and we'll look for a target. Uh, while we're waiting to find one, let's go down here. We're gonna select this empty slot here, hit the button next to it, and we're gonna hit it again. And we're gonna select the targeting pod, TGP. There we go, got the targeting pod up, and we can see we are in air-to-air -air mode. We're in wide, and we're in TV. We're gonna need to switch this to white hot, and the reason is is we wanna have very high contrast of the target um, uh, from the background, uh, the sky or the ground, so that we don't lose a point track on that target. Um, if we do, it's simple, just um, team a switch down on this, go back to the radar, unlock and then relock the target and then this will uh, slave back over to it. In air to air mode the targeting pod will actually slave the camera to your radar so whatever your radar is looking at the camera will be looking at. So let's switch this over to white hot. There we go. And we're going to start looking uh, what we're looking for are F-14s and I've got a target right here and I'm not getting an RWR so it means that he's not looking at me but I am looking at him so I'm probably behind him. Let's go ahead and select him. Yep. Let's turn it into a single uh, track target. There we go. And let's turn on my HMD and make sure that I can... Ah, there he is right there. And all I see is a black dot. I have no idea what that is. Might be an F-14. Might be a MiG. Might just be an airliner. No idea. Down here we can see we've got the uh, camera looking at it too. Let's go ahead and DEMA switch down to make this soy. You can tell a, uh, a sensor is soy if there is a white box around it. So this is now the sensor of interest. Set it to narrow. Still can't really tell what that is, but since we're a little closer and it is white hot, let's go ahead and DEMA switch up uh, or forward, and that will get us a uh, point track on this. There we go, got a point track. All right, still don't know what this is, so let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit further. And that is your uh, clockwise and counterclockwise range knob. And that is definitely an F-14. Off to our right here. Let's go ahead and fox three times two on that target. All right, they should be going pit bull fairly quickly here. And he is going defensive. We need to get visual confirmation of the kill. There we go.
So I hope this helps any of you who are trying to get visual identification of a radar target that is beyond the visual range, you can't see it, you can use the targeting pod uh, and actually identify what it is your radar is looking at.